there is an amazing story about the sacrifices mothers sometimes have to make and it's worth bringing to light this Mother's Day so we can really appreciate our mothers. We know this famous story about Abraham having to send his son Ishmael and his mother Haggai away because Ishmael was worshipping idols. We are told that Abraham arose early in the morning and he took bread and a leather pouch of water and he gave them to Haggai. He placed them on her shoulder and the child and he sent her away. And she went and wandered in the desert of Beersheba and the water was depleted from the leather pouch and she cast the child under one of the bushes. This seems cruel and selfish. What kind of mother does that? She should be right there with her son, consoling him, saying her last goodbyes till he takes his last breath. Yet she abandons him. The hard decision a mother had to make to abandon her dying child. Ishmael may have felt abandoned, but this mother had learned her lessons from the year she stayed with Abraham. She had learned the power of prayer coupled with sincere repentance. Hagar realized there was nothing she could do at this point. Sometimes our mothers feel that way. Ishmael's only chance at this point was for him to cry out himself sincerely to God. She pretended to cast him under the bush, making him feel all alone and helpless so that he cries out real sincere tears. This mother cast her son under the bush saying, I don't want you to die. I don't want to see you die. Call out to God, my son. And she leaves him and walks away. And she does what mothers do in secret. What your mother did and still does in her closet when her children are in trouble. When her children are in a bind. And she went and sat down from afar at about the distance of two bow shots. And she said, let me not see the child's death. And she sat from afar and she raised her voice and wept. Now read very carefully. Whose voice did God hear? And God heard the lad's voice. And an angel of God called to Haggai from heaven and said to her, What is troubling you, Haggai? Fear not, for God has heard the lad's voice in the place where he is. I ask again, whose voice did God hear? Ishmael, the lad. God heard the son's voice because mother was crying out to God. And God opened her eyes and she saw a well of water and she went and filled the pouch with water and gave the lad to drink. You see, we owe our mothers a debt that we can never pay back. So let's not forget to honor them, not only today, but any chance that we get. Remember, God came to Ishmael's rescue because her mother cried out. Let us honor our mothers today because we cherish, they are crying out to God on our behalf. Happy Mother's Day to all mothers.